So I'm allergic to makeup, or at least I thought I was. As it turns out, most makeup products are full of irritating ingredients. I wore makeup my whole life and didn't really notice a change until I got pregnant and all of a sudden, I, my eyelids were raw and swollen every time I would wear any kind of makeup. My face itched so bad all the time and I thought, well, that's it, I guess I'm allergic to makeup. But that didn't last long, I refused to accept that and went on the hunt for makeup that has no irritating ingredients in it. Let me just tell you, there are so few of those. It was hard to find any that didn't have irritating ingredients in them. For foundation, you got like one option and two serums to choose from. For powders, you've got like two. For eyeliners, you got like three. Mascara, ugh. Dude, it was so hard to find anything that didn't make my eyelashes just short and stubby and look like crap. I was a sky high girl, but I did find something that actually outperforms that. And it doesn't irritate my eyes. So happy. So I'm finishing this voiceover on a different day and I'm sick. Now the Ilia is awesome because it has sunscreen in it. It's got all kinds of skincare in it. And it makes your skin look like glass. However, I prefer a more matted look lately. Um, I kind of switch it back and forth. You know, sometimes I like it shiny and pretty. Sometimes I like it matte. So I just put the powder everywhere. People really sleep on the Neutrogena eyeshadow slash primer. It gives the perfect natural glowy look to your eyelids if you're going for the natural look. I am not going for the natural look today. This blush is not irritant free. I just have yet to invest in one that is, as well as this um, highlighter. But the Rare Beauty Primer in the Ilia Skin Tint, the Ilia Powder, and the Neutrogena Eyeshadow Primer is all irritant free. Has amazing ingredients that are not going to irritate irritate your eyes or your skin. A lot of people don't like the smell of Ilia, but it smells like that because it's made of all natural organic ingredients. And I promise you that smell goes away. Your face is not going to just smell like that all throughout the day. People really also kind of don't talk about this highlighter, but it means business. It does a great job. And this Well People eyeshadow palette has been my go-to um, because so many eyeshadows have irritants. It's so hard to find some that don't. And this is just my basic one that I use um, on more of a regular basis. So I just went in with a smaller brush, put it on, and then I got my blending brush and kind of blend it around. I really just want this video to give hope to people who think that they can't wear makeup because um, they might be allergic or they have burning eyes or itchy skin when they wear it. Um, it might not be that you're allergic. It might be the product. This Stilla, I think that's how you say it, uh, eyeliner is cool. It has double, it's double ended. One side is bigger, one side is smaller, um, and it does an amazing job. Lasts all day. Precision is just chef's kiss, and um, yeah, I really love it. I wish it was more matte. Now, Honest Mascara is my go-to. It is phenomenal. Um, but because I don't want to waste the product on an everyday experience, I am using the Essence one today, which has a few irritants in it, but not nearly as much as most of them do. If you don't know which one I'm talking about, I'll link it to this video. I really wish they sold Honest Makeup products on TikTok. I love that brand so much. And that mascara, it, it's way better than even Sky High. I mean, it's better than any other mascara I've ever used. So much so that I use it rarely because I don't want to waste the product because it is just that good. Again, beautiful. If I could use mascara for the rest of my life, it'd be this. Comes with a eyelash primer and then the product. And then I'm just going to slap on some lips, lip gloss. It's from Tat, And now we have kind of my everyday look with a little more shimmer than I probably would normally do. But here we go. I hope you can wear makeup again if you felt like you couldn't. And I am just obsessed with this highlight. Have a great day. If you have acne, stop trying to cover it up with foundation and do this instead. And before anyone tells me, who are you to talk? You have clear skin. First of all, I do not have clear skin. I got pimples and I have the beauty filter on. Second, I struggled with acne all my teen years and I'm 20 and I'm still struggling with it. I'm talking severe cystic acne. I was on Accutane for literally a year. But when I had severe acne, my biggest concern was just trying to cover it up with makeup. And for some reason, when you have severe acne and you try to cover it up with foundation and concealer and powders, it makes it look worse. Instead of focusing on covering it up, focus on a different feature on your face. What I mean by that is if you have really prominent eyebrows, focus on defining your eyebrows and make that like the feature of your face so that the distraction is taken away from your acne. Or if you have really prominent cheekbones, focus on like adding a bunch of blush and contour. Like don't overdo it, but focus on the features that stand out on your face because it'll distract from the acne. Or if you have like really pretty eyes, focus on accentuating your eyes. And I promise you that's what people will look at when they see you, not the pimples. I promise just stressing and crying over acne is not going to make it go away. It's probably just going to make it worse. Like you got hormonal acne around your chin, cheeks, make your lips look really good. And I promise you that's what people will look at instead of the pimples around it. If that makes sense, you know? Bye, guys.